Hey guys, it's Victoria from TTPM Pets and we're back with even more dog toys to show you. Are you still in search of a chew toy that will last more than a couple of days? Luckily we tested out a bunch of them so you don't have to. From chewing to fetch to tug of war, these toys offer lots of ways to play. But not all chew toys are made equally so stay tuned to see which ones are still going strong. And before we get any further, make sure you hit that subscribe button below to see all the coolest new pet toys on the market. So first up we have this molar bite toy from Charminer, which you can find on Amazon. There's a soft textured rubber ball on one end of the rope for your dog to chew on. On the other end there's a suction cup that you can press onto a smooth surface to keep it in place while your pet tugs on the ball. We like the idea that you can just stick this somewhere and it'll keep your dog occupied for a little while while you work from home or maybe go run errands. In reality, it didn't really work out as well as we had hoped. To start, you might have some trouble getting your dog interested in this toy. A lot of the fun of playing tug of war is interacting with a human or another pet. So a ball on a rope on its own might not be as exciting. Of course, you could just hold one end of the toy to play regular tug of war or even use it for fetch. Though it did stick to walls for the most part, and even a fridge, we couldn't get the suction cup to work on many types of floors, including laminate and tile. The texture of the ball and the suction cup were very appealing to chewers, but then the toy started to fall apart almost right away. The rope frayed very easily and in one instance ripped apart from the ball. The dogs were also able to chew through the suction cup and tear off pieces of it. Not only does this ruin the toy's ability to suction to anything, it also puts your dog at risk of accidentally ingesting pieces of their toy. So even though this did end up being pretty fun for the dogs, we do wish it was built to last longer. If you've got an aggressive chewer, you're in luck with this dog chew ring by Gucho. It's made of a thick, durable rubber with a unique texture that your dog will enjoy gnawing on. Plus, the ridges and bumps on each side are designed to clean their teeth and gums. Now we found this to be pretty tough and resistant to wear and tear, but just in case, Gucho offers a lifetime replacement guarantee if you're dissatisfied with the product. We like that the ring shape of this toy makes it easy for you to grip while playing tug with your pup. And unlike with rope toys, you don't have to worry about fraying and snapping when your dog pulls on it. One downside is that this toy doesn't create much distance between your hand and their mouth, so you may get some slobber on your hand and you'll also need to be careful of accidental biting. This is another product that's great for fetch, because it's easy to throw, or you can roll it on the ground like a wheel for your dog to chase after. But we should note that we only tested this product in the large size, which measures 6.5 inches across, and is also quite heavy and dense. It was a hit with our large breeds, but we think that smaller dogs will struggle with the size of this and trying to pick it up. Next up, from Julius K9, we have the cotton nylon tug with two handles, as well as the cotton nylon tug with one handle. According to Julius K9, these tugs are used in dog bite training because their slippery surface encourages dogs to bite down harder. The company says that the nylon enhanced material makes the toys bite proof, while the inside is the same material used in mattresses to make them resilient. These tugs offer a lot of different ways to play. The handles make it easy for you to play tug with your dog, or for two dogs to play tug with each other. These are also lightweight, making them easy to throw for fetch. The texture is appealing to chewers and soft on their teeth. This was especially popular with some teething puppies. We had no issue getting our dogs interested in these toys. We got a couple of different styles of the two-handle toy. Some of them came with smooth and almost rubbery handles, and the other one came with fabric handles. In our experience, the toy with the fabric handles remained intact, but the smoother handles started to fray and come apart after our dogs chewed through and tugged on them. The single handle toy also showed some fraying and one of the dogs ripped a hole in the bottom. So although our dogs loved these toys, they also started to wear them out pretty quickly. Also from Julia's Canine, we've got the IDC Neon Fluorescent Ball with Closable Handle. This is a squishy ball made of silicone and the material is soft which is good for teething puppies as well as older dogs that like to chew. There's also a hole where the rope attaches to the ball and you could stuff a few treats in there and even use it as a puzzle feeder. While you could technically use the rope for tug, in our case the dogs were not interested in tugging on this toy. So we didn't really get a chance to test its strength or see how it fared after a lot of chewing. But just keep in mind that no toy is indestructible. Really we think this is best used for playing fetch. 
The rope lets you pick up and toss the toy without having to touch the ball after it was in your dog's mouth. It has a good bounce when thrown in an irregular shape that will make its movement unpredictable. And that will make your dog excited to chase after it. We recommend this for active dogs that love to run and you can use it indoors or outdoors. So you guys, did you see a toy here that you want to try out on your pet? Let me know in the comments below. We think that the Gucho is a great all-in-one item, especially for dogs that tend to chew through all their toys. We also had a great time playing fetch with the Julius K9 fluorescent ball. Our dogs had so much fun with the Charminer and Julius K9 tugs, but we only wish they had more time to play with them before they ripped apart. As always, thank you guys for watching, and we'll be back soon with more toys.